Hello everybody, welcome to Talk About Houses. I'm Todd. I'm Lana. Uh, so, the, uh, this video is what happened to mortgage rates. Yes. Um, if you are an investor or you're buying a second home, you probably found out over the last couple months that mortgage rates have gone up and fees have gone up. Yes. Yep. In particular, um, mortgage rates have really uh, spiked since March 10th. Um, at that point, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Penny Mac, uh, all these lovely institutions that purchase uh, loans on the secondary market. So remember, you borrow the loan from XYZ Mortgage Broker and then they sell the loan on the secondary market to Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Penny Mac. Um, they have decided to half the number of investor loans that they purchase on the secondary market. So that means that mortgage brokers who we're looking to sell sell these loans so they can be liquid again and loan out more money, can only sell half the loans. And so because of that, there's more risk to them and they have increased their fees, interest rates have gone up. So if you are purchasing a second home or a rental property, uh, the money that it costs you to get into it and to keep going with that mortgage has gone up. And here's why this is gonna squeeze out some investors, okay. So you go buy a house and you get a loan and everybody's talking about how, well, I'm borrowing money 3% and you know home prices and rents and all that are, are going up faster than that. So I'm borrowing money and I'm using it to leverage and buy all these properties. Well, the problem is that that works at 3%, but if it's 5%, that extra 2% is probably eating all your money if you're only putting 25% down. So now you're, even though you have a five or 6% cap rate with all your other fees, you're probably have a negative cash flow every month. So investors are going to have to hope for price appreciation to keep happening, rents to keep appreciating, and hope they can pay down their mortgage so that at some point they have positive cash flow. This is definitely going to squeeze some people out of the market. Right. So this applies to you even if you're putting a good bit of money down. So this is regardless of your down payment or equity. Um, so this is important for, for you to note. Now, there is kind of a silver lining in all this. Uh, and the silver lining is that because it, this is squeezing some investors out of the market, uh, we may not have as many multiple offers. Uh, we may, because we're not going to have as, uh, as much appreciation as quickly as we've had in the last few months. So maybe this is an opportunity for some people to, uh, to come into the market. Um, this may also be a, a, an opportunity for people down the road uh, who might be interested in purchasing those investor loans from the originators because uh, now there's an opening in the market. So the market will uh, work its way through it, uh, but for right now, uh, there's a little bit of uncertainty. Now, all of these um, changes as far as uh, the purchase of, sec of these investment loans on the secondary market take effect April 1st. So if you are currently under contract uh, and are getting a loan, or if you're thinking about uh, purchasing a property in the very near future, please get together with your lender. Um, you know, they know what's going on and they can best advise you as to what's your best move right now. Yeah, um, some of the you know, um, examples are that Fannie Mae is going to charge about a 5% fee on a $200,000 house for fees. You know how you, you always get these broker fees and discount fees and things like that. Well, that's 10 grand on a $200,000 house. So that's a huge, you know, upfront, that's money that you probably would have been your down payment or part of your down payment or would have gone to other costs or your reserves for um, uh, a tenant, you know, if you have a tenant in there having cash reserves for repairs and things like that. Um, there's definitely going to be an economic effect to this, mm -hmm. but this is actually fine because this is how markets are supposed to work, okay? There's too much demand, there becomes too much risk, there's potentially inflation. So mortgage lenders are saying, hey, look, we need to ch change some stuff. Um, this is actually positive news, right? It would be bad if this didn't happen because this is sort of like letting some air out of the balloon before it, it gets too big. Right. So remember, that with everything, there's an opportunity. So the opportunity is if you're uh, thinking about buying, maybe you won't have as many multiple offers. Uh, if you're thinking about buying secondary loans, now you've got opportunities to, to buy loans on the secondary market. So there are opportunities everywhere. It's just a matter of seeing them and seizing them. Uh, for something that makes sense for what your financial goals are. Yep. Um, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you very much. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, let us know in the comments uh, if there are any specific video, 
uh, topics you would like to see videos about. And if you're looking to buy or sell in Las Vegas, okay, shameless advertising here at the end of the video, buy or sell, um, then please um, uh, let us know. And we do have a special offer that expires at the end of the month, which is only six days away. I'm gonna put it right up here. It's another video you gotta watch, but it's a special offer. We're giving it uh, less than our customary rates to list your home anytime this year, but you gotta watch the video and you gotta uh, let us know in the next week or so. Okay, and if you don't have a lender, uh, you know, please contact us. We there are several lenders that we work with in Vegas, uh, in Vegas, and some even out of state. Yeah, uh, there are licensed in multiple states uh, that uh, can help you. We do not drink coffee, so they don't even buy us a cup of coffee. Uh, we don't get anything out of it except your goodwill. So if we can help you in any way, uh, that that's our goal. We're here to help you. Uh, so please leave us comments, send us questions. Uh, we'd love to interact with you. All right. Bye.